Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to some more Two Point Campus. I want to apologize for two things. For one, this video is late. Um, we were on vacation, and I got back, and I said, you know what, I'm going to take the rest of my uh, Sunday off, and then record this in the morning, and this video should be released the same day that I record it. <clears throat> Second thing I want to apologize for is if I sound a little stuffy, and if there's some uh, me kind of like... Um, grunting or something because I am unfortunately very sick and I have some congestion and then um and it's it's not been fun um both me and my wife are we can't breathe very well and uh yeah so it's a little stuffy so I do apologize for that but hopefully we'll get better soon but like I said I wanted to get a video out for you guys and at least continue this series a little bit if you want to see more of it you guys know what to do liking commenting it does help out a lot but last time we left off we were starting the new year we manage our courses and we have the new virtual normality course. You can see it over here. That's what we're working with. So we're going to go and start the next year. This is what we're working with. We have 10 course points to spend. So we're going to do that. And now the year has started. Uh, we're probably going to need to expand our dormitory. And because we only have four beds in it, which is, I th actually think it's fine. I think that's good for, I think they said five students each. So we have 20 students. So I think that dormitory actually still works relatively well. Now the need to pass virtual, virtual normality here with a grade of C. So that's one thing that we need to focus on, um, make sure they get done. Let's check our happiness real quick. I think we're okay. We can kind of see, you know, let's click on a student here and see how everyone's doing. Make sure they have all their needs. They're bored. They're unhealthy. So like, what can we do to make them a little happier? Well, we can make it like a student lounge, I believe. Let's see, unless that is something that's going to teach me how to do. Um, but we are going to try to complete uh, the two other stars here um, in this episode. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I will do my very best so that we can move on to the next level. I ideally don't want these levels to be more than two episodes if I can help it, but there may be some instances where there is. Now we look down here, they're enjoying this uh, lovely claw machine that we put in here for them. Um, seems like that the environment is okay. We could probably have some more plants or something. Of course, we don't want to put too many down because then it overwhelms our staff. So, what else can I put down? What is that? Broccoli plushie. I don't know about that. That one kind of terrifies me, I'll be honest. <clears throat> but let's see. Campus building. Yeah, so we're just going to pass through uh, this, make sure everyone gets a C. Um, and I could work with these kind of... I want to fix this. I don't really like how it juts out like that. But we may be able to make a building right here and then maybe have just like a hallway go down this way and have two rooms like that. I think that's what I'm going to do. So we'll have two rooms go this way lengthwise and then just have a hallway go like that. I think that's probably the best thing I could do there, which is probably what I'm going to do. And then we'll have a room right here, have a hallway go right there. I'm not sure what this is going to be yet. We could probably put some bathrooms in here, which wouldn't be bad. Um, they have to go all the way over here for bathrooms, which is not that far away. But, you know, we could at least get them something. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And in all honesty, if I, where's the bathroom? Bathroom. Um, we could probably have like something in the middle here. Take out maybe that much space or maybe that much space. Just a two by two. Of course, that, that is quite a lot, isn't it? Um, I don't know about that. Hang on. Oop, nope. Go back. All right. Hang on. Cancel that. Yep. Get him out of here. Very good. And I think instead, I think I want it over here. Maybe we don't need a very large bathroom. So maybe we can have something else. Um, but we can see here that the grade is going up relatively quickly, which is good. But I think I'm going to go to this bathroom here. Maybe we'll have like a larger kind of communal space and then have bathrooms uh, right there at the entrance. I think that's a very smart thing to do. So we'll do that. Bathrooms. And I'm going to put this to, put, put this together real quick and uh, make something somewhat decent. Okay. And there we go. We have our new bathroom. Relatively easy setup. Just got some sinks along the wall and some toilet stalls. Not bad at all. You can see here that our virtual normality is now a grade C or about to get to a grade C. We have about 80% left. Uh, we do have some messages on here. Let's check out what we got. Um, I would like to, uh, I knew I liked my friend. I just didn't realize how, how I liked my friend. So we need a love bench now. So I'm not going to place. Let's do that. I've got one of those out here and we'll probably place it somewhere, you know, somewhere in the park, maybe somewhere, somewhere a little romantic. I don't know. Uh, between these two trees here, maybe that could be nice. Maybe. Ooh, oh, hello. Hello that there we go all right put that away sorry had to put, throw your love bench away for that guy so what is a love bench oh no hang on that's outdoors uh yep there it is so let's go ahead and uh oh okay never mind was that already the year oh okay well we just got the star good all right so we have piazza lanatra for our next level there we also have the hot dog kiosk a whale fountain and a coffee kiosk uh, plus eleven thousand or ten thousand dollars and 250 kudosh. So we're going to continue this. I want to get two stars. So you can see up here, this is what we've got. We need to earn 150,000 uh, uh, money. Uh, we have campus level nine and then satisfy 10 personal goals and then average dormitory rating. So we need to make our dormitory rating go up. It's not very good. So how can we make this go up? Well, let's see what we can add in here. So if we look at this and we go edit room, uh, we'll do that. We can get some stuff that they would like in here. Um, we don't have the uh, very lovely double jump bed there. Um, what else could we get? 
Okay, so I found this like a uh, nice cabinet. So I think we'll get some cabinets, maybe some bed ends. I think that makes sense for what it is. So, you know, we could throw, you know, bed end uh, right there, kind of move them in with control. Say, hey, that's nice to have. And, you know, it's like I said, subsequent placing these things sub, uh, kind of one after the other, it doesn't make it go up. But it's still, for my sake of aesthetics, I think it looks nice. And I'm going to put like one. Uh, I think that actually messes up the window a little bit, doesn't it? Um, we could put it, I think I would have put it next here, these uh, wardrobes. I think that's pretty nice. Uh, put one there. And do the same thing over here. Um, that's right above the board. I think if I could, can I move the board over just slightly for me? Pick that up and just move that right there. Perfect. And then we have this trash can here. I'm going to try to just move it over a little bit. Use our uh, easy move tool. And then let's see, where's our other one at? We also have the Roach Burger Kiosk. I don't know about that. I, that sounds like we're poisoning our students, but you know, I guess if it's uh, in the game, then it's supposed to be there for a reason. All right, so that didn't really do anything unless I need to finish building. So let's go ahead and uh, exit all this. Why am I paused? There we go, I'm paused. So I don't know if that actually did anything for our dormitory rating. Um, it's a 51%, so it did, it did do something. Um, so we want to probably get unique things. Ooh, don't pick that up. Ooh, okay. Hello, everyone. Jumping around. And that kind of freaked out the dormitory raining a little bit. We may want to expand this. Um, what we could do is maybe expand it out this way. Maybe? Hmm. Or we can get some more beds in there, which wouldn't hurt. We can get some beds in the middle there, which I think would be fine. I also noticed that one doesn't have an alarm clock, and neither does that one. Interesting. But yeah, we can probably get some more beds in here. Um, just for the sake of taking care of our students. Let's go ahead and click on that and get back in here. Oh, okay, hang on, wait a minute. Do these beds have different, are they all the same? I think they're all the same, okay. So I don't know about that. What else would be good? We can get a hat stand. Uh, sure, we can get that like maybe towards the entrance, get a hat stand. And I gotta watch my kudosh on there. We got 365, but that's fine. Um, That's usually at the entrance over here. So we kind of don't have a lot of room. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this plant. I think I'm going to have it like maybe right here next to this desk. Just have something nice there. And then we want to have. Oh, no, don't sell room. Wrong button. That is also the wrong button. Uh, there's a hat stand. So let's put that in there. Just make that nice right, right there at the front door. Very good. Uh, now, what else do we want? Let's check our personal goals and see if anyone wants anything. Uh, we haven't placed the love bench yet, so we'll probably should do that. Let's get our personal goals done because that is important. Uh, I think my original plan was to put it over here somewhere. I'm going to do just that right there between those trees. Campus is level seven now of our nine that we need to get to. And I think I want to give this some shade. Um, there's no shade whatsoever for this bench. So I think we should give it that at least. So we you know have a tree there and have a tree there. I think that should be good. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I guess the trees a little they're a little off. So I'm going to kind of move that one up. So it's kind of in line with the other one. I get them like that. Uh, sure. That looks close enough to me. There we go. I have a little garden area right there. And I see what other things we have. Uh, that's our statement. We're good on that. Virtual norm normality. Uh, we have some kudosh coming in. A group of pers prospective students are interested in virtual normality. So those are those students. Uh, we need a recorded cubicle required. Okay, so unlock and place. Yes, we need those. So we need a new place in our library, which is fine. We did leave some room for it, so we'll have one there. And we'll have one right. Oh, it's not going to fit, is it? That's unfortunate. Uh, we're gonna have to expand our library, I think. So let's go ahead and do that. Also, excuse me just a moment. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Sorry about that. I was dealing with some sinus issues and had to get up uh, pretty quickly. So, but I'm back. Let's go ahead and get this library fixed. Uh, we also have some trash uh, laid about. So let's go ahead and hire us another janitor. Um, let's see if we can find a good one. Uh, aerodynamics is pretty good, but maintenance three, that's amazing. So let's see what other skills we have. Wally Gagger moves slower than most. Mm. Not really the best. We have iron bladder and movement speed, so I think I'm gonna go with you. Um, plus you're not as much, so let's go ahead and out hire Alfred there. All right, now, before I continue, uh, we were wanting to edit this room and we're wanting to make it a little bit bigger. So I think we're gonna expand it by two squares, which is a lot, um, and it kind of throws my sym symmetry off, but I think it'll be fine. Also, we don't have an assistant, so let's go ahead and get another assistant, although I thought I had two of them. Uh, ooh, this one looks like a good one. Leroy Chopper. Uh, also, but drops litter and excellent personal hygiene. Um, you know, I, I think we can deal with that. So we'll, we'll get Leroy in there. So let's go ahead and uh, move all these things. Um, I want to move them all kind of back where they were. And I can I serve like a mass select? I don't think there is. Um, so I'm going to get that. 
And then we probably will have a effect to where we kind of have multiple seats like this. So we'll have, you know, one like that, one like that. And then we'll move our bookcases back here, kind of like they were before. So I'm gonna get all these moved out of the way and then we will start putting in our cubicles that the students required. Okay, there's our finished library. Everyone gets thrown out of it, but I've kind of adjusted things a little bit to match this room. Granted, it's not symmetrical anymore, but we need to expand it. We need to make sure that it was, you know, fitting at least. So they got four of these desks now so that they can work on their assignments. I don't like the way that looks. We're going to pick that up and just scoot it around a little bit and make sure that's even. There we go. Perfect. I had to kind of make these kind of fit in the way I wanted them to. I had a little bit of do of a... Uh, it's not, you know, perfect, but it works. So now that we've done that, we need to earn this. We need campus level nine. We have our average dormitory rating, which we still need to work on, and the personal goals as well. So let's go and take a look at what else we can do. We need a coffee kiosk. So yeah, let's do that. So coffee, where do we want a coffee kiosk? Well, you know, we could put it out here with kind of maybe with a central plaza, um, not really central plaza, but you know, this outdoor area. That could be nice. Uh, we could also have it indoors, but I think it, the way this kind of looks, it doesn't seem like it's an indoor type building. So I think I might have it in this green here to where everyone can come and get coffee if they want. Um, so I think I'm actually gonna have it face towards the green so that people will kind of get their coffee and just enjoy the green there. So we'll probably have it somewhere right there. I think right here is pretty decent. So I'll have that kiosk there. We're gonna need assistance to help on that. Um, I don't think we can just build paths willy nilly. Uh, we might be able to, but I'm kind of gonna, I think I'm gonna spruce this place up a little bit. Uh, we have this giant whale statue now. It's kind of silly, isn't it? But hey, it works. So we're gonna maybe have a whale statue here. Maybe look, make it look good, get our campus level up. I think I'm gonna put it right, I kind of like it right there, I think. Right there, I think that's good. Yeah, there we go, giant whale. Don't know what that represents for our campus, but hey, it represents something. And we also have this nice fountain right here that's uh, for books. I'm going to put that in the center here. I'm going to put that in the kind of the center of our hallway. That looks pretty good. I think our campus level went up a little bit for that. All right, yeah, that looks not too bad. I probably need to move that just a tad, though. Move it that way. And that looks a little bit better. So, just going to do some of these personal goals here. We have um, bat post for one. So, you know, hey, that's easy enough. We'll put that in the dorm for you. Um, So, I'm actually going to... Actually, what was that personal goal? Uh, Let's see. Bat post or wanted. Uh, I think that's just, they just want a bat poster, so yeah, we can do that. Uh, let's put that in the dorm. I think that'd be kind of a better place to put that. So let's put like a bat poster there. Make that look good. Um, and then we can put like, yeah, sure, why not? We'll put one in the lecture hall, because why not? It's maybe, it's it's starting to get fall, at least where I'm at. Let's, you know, it's starting to get spooky season. Let's go ahead and get a little spooky there. So we have a couple more things. We need a crescent bench, so I'll unlock that. Using all my kudosh for that, but hey, we can kind of go and work on our uh, outdoor area right here. So I think kind of even... Even that up with the whale, I think that'd be good. Actually, let's go ahead and turn it and do that, I think. That'd be nice, so do that. And then on the same on this side, we'll do that right there. Very good, not too bad looking. We have our picnic basket uh, tables over here. And we probably will have like a hot dog stand over here that wouldn't be too bad. So let's see, ooh, I don't know, I still don't know about the roach burger. Not too uh, keen on that. Let's put a hot dog stand out here though. Get, uh, get us some actual food with our coffee. So I'm gonna even that up as much as possible. There we go, looking good. And now I think we're good on our goals here. So career goal completed, a multidisciplinary field that uses a range of technology to answer the biggest questions of today. Like what is blue or why is that blue? Does it melt and how long is a piece of string? So level 100, uh, level up 100 Scientology students and we get 50, uh, 50 kudosh for that. Very good. So we got our kudosh, that's good, not bad. So let's go ahead and take a look here. County map, uh, okay, so we unlock that. Um, we have new applicants, okay, so I think we have that. Place item, sure, we'll put another part, we'll put a park bench down. Just have all kinds of benches everywhere. Um, let's get a park bench. I think we'll just kind of have them maybe going along these sides here. Or actually, we don't put one under this tree, why not? We'll put one there, and we'll put one there. I think that looks pretty decent, yeah, there we go. Right between the love bench. Okay, so you're completing your personal goal, which is great. Happiness is going up. Our dorm rating is still not high enough, and especially if we're going to get more students, we're going to need another dorm. So I think I might kind of expand this area a little bit, maybe. Kind of tucking this away in the back here wasn't really great, but I think we can honestly... It's kind of crowded, but I think we can fit in a little bit more here. So let's get a black frame bed, and let's get a couple different beds in here. And yeah, I know that's kind of in the window there. Should be okay. Should be. May not look the best, but some beds that go behind windows. Uh, yeah, I think we can pull that out just a tad bit more. Oh, nope, that was about the max there. All right, cool. 
Consider building some more dormitories or making existing ones nicer. Review student. All right, so let's see what they're they're saying or like you know what they're thinking. Um, not much there. They don't really say why, which is not helpful. But that you know what that's okay. You, you tried your best to give me information. Not oh whoa hey that added up to our eighty nine percent. Wow okay adding beds just helped. That's not a bad dorm. I mean it's a little crowded, but it's not bad by any means. Um, I need to move this plant because I do want to get these students some desks. So I think I might put that plant over here, um, just to kind of get that a little uh, looking a little nice. I and mean, if you decide to pick up this game and you, I'm going to try to like tutorialize this as well. But if you're editing a room, like with stuff, you can like, well, oh, okay, never mind, it's not working the way I want it to. Let's go into this m mode. Why is it not working? All right, hang on a second. Like Okay, I don't know why I could get that to work initially, but you just hit control and then it brings up a little dropper and you can kind of control click your items that you have in there previously. Very helpful. And then also, you know, as I taught you guys in the last episode, control, you can just kind of free move stuff around. So there is that as well. Uh, but there we go, level eight. Very good. We're almost at level nine. This dorm is a eight prestige. I think that's a pretty good dorm in my opinion. And it's got alternating colors, but it's all right. Now, I would love to get like a rug or something. That'd be kind of cool. Let's say what else we can get in here. So we have all of our different things. Uh, we can get a very uh, beautiful star rug. Uh, there's a DJ poster. Uh, ooh, okay. I guess I just want some kind of standard, just a standard rug. A purple rug. I don't know what goes good with this blue, though. A heart rug. That'd be nice. A uh, red rug. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, we'll unlock that for 20 kudosh. So I have that circle, your circular round rug. We can kind of put that in the center there. Kind of spruce up this place a little bit. Make it look a little bit nicer. Okay. So it's pretty maxed out. I think we're good there. So now we need to satisfy some more personal goals. Do we have any? Yes. They want a student lounge. That is what I was waiting for. So let's go ahead and get a student lounge and let's have that near the dorms here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have that. I think we might have a small hallway here and then we'll have two buildings go across the small hallway. So I think what I'm going to do is have the student lounge start here and then we'll have it go like this. And then we'll have another building kind of go out to here, but this will be where our student lounge is. We'll have like a small two by two hallway there and then we'll have another room back there. That way this is kind of like a student area. They enter in through here and this is where they all their stuff is happening at. That looks good to me, like that idea. Um, so we have this hallway here. We have this gigantic kind of lobby area, which I'm pretty happy with. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. We'll probably figure out something out. But let's go ahead and build this student lounge and see what we can figure out. So we have a couple different items. We have some couches, we have fridges, we have dart boards, which is kind of similar to the teacher's lounge here. So there is that to consider. Um, but I want to, is this a student lounge? I don't like the, can I change the wallpaper? I don't necessarily care for the wallpaper, but that's fine. All right, so let's get a couple dartboards in here. Uh, good, two should be fine. Let's go ahead and get some of this stuff. I have some countertops. Uh, I think I want this to be like a corner kitchen. So maybe we'll have, you know, a basic countertop going into the corner. Ooh, and I don't think we can easily get a corner in there, can we? So we'll have to kind of make this a wall type deal. So we'll throw that there, maybe put the sink in the middle there and then get our microwave and then a fridge at the very end. Very good, nice kitchen setup. And then we went out some there. They can, man, they went in there immediately. Uh, probably shouldn't put the couch right next to the dartboard just in case something catastrophic happens, um, just in case a student misses. Uh, we'll also put some stacking uh, vending machines in here. I don't see why not. Let's go ahead and kind of scoot those over as close as possible. Get those in there. Already immediately using it. That's what we like to see. And I'm gonna throw that kind of like in the back there, kind of move that as close as possible. Perfect. Now, what else do we want? Well, we want a trash bin so they don't throw just trash willy nilly. Um, I think I'm gonna put that at the end here. Gotta put that in between all that stuff. Looking good. And we'll put a hand sanitizer there before they leave out. I think we wanna get like maybe a arcade machine. That sounds cool. Once again, I'm probably gonna put it right here. And if they, you know, hit the side of it, that's fine. I just don't want I don't want students to be facing that way and actually get hit in the head with the dart. So, you know, if they hit the side of the machine, it'll be fine. I don't see any problem with that. Or well, maybe we'll put a plant right there to kind of separate things off. Looks good. It does have this rug, so I think a central rug would be good. Um, but at first, I'm going to get a... We're going to set up our couch setup here. Get a nice big couch. And I think what I want to do is I want to get it kind of in there. And then maybe have one of these in here. Now, the color scheme is kind of off. That's all right. We'll fix that. Um, we do have a lamp I want to put there. So kind of get that there. Kind of a nice little chill spot. And we also want a coffee table just so they can sit and also some of these tables too. So we'll have some of these in here. I know this is kind of small and maybe I should adjust it. 
a little bit, but I want to get kind of even that out a little bit. Kind of throw something like that in there. Snug's good. It's a little, it's a little, oh, you are spiffy, my dude. Geoffrey Man. All right, cool. Love it. And you guys mentioned that their names are kind of like puns on like who they are as characters. So I need to keep an eye out for that. Uh, last thing I really wanted here was kind of this rug right here, but I'm going to put that right there. Looking good. I thought we had a coffee table, but I guess not. We're going to put that like, you know, something right there above there. That looks good. We're at seven prestige. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, we could probably expand this out. Um, I don't think I can do it just yet, but that's all right. Uh, we'd have a foosball table. That kind of sounds fun. Uh, no, not right now. We'll save it for when we need to do our um, objectives, but I think this is good for right now. I'm kind of not happy with these tables, though. Let me see if I can adjust them real quick. I'm so, I just kicked you out. I'm sorry. I'm going to adjust that to where the seats are like that. Something like that. Cool. There's our student lounge. Very nice. Uh, we're at camp, uh, campus level uh, 8 of 9. We need a little bit more. So that means we need to kind of build... Um, fulfill objectives and make sure that we're good there. Family tree wanted. Okay, sure. Yeah, we can all unlock the play that's for place that for you. So we'll put like a family tree poster in here. Kind of a nice looking poster. I like it. There we go. That is done. Uh, Scientography, county map, all that is looking good. Experiment station required. We can do that. Unlock a place. So we need some new stations in our um, room. So when you have higher graduates, they're going to require more things in the classrooms, and this is one of them. So they need a different stations to help them kind of learn a little bit better. And I'd like to throw that in there if I can. Perfect. I'm going to get two of them in here. Kind of have that symmetry that we all love. And then we are at campus level eight. So expand the campus with more rooms, staff and students to increase campus level. Level it to earn course points and use these to start and upgrade courses. So we need to get more students and more rooms in here. So how are we going to fix that? Well, what rooms do we have? We have a shower room, uh, which could be good. We can have that for our students. And I think we can have that at the end here um, just so they can come down here. This is kind of like the student wing and the kind of rest wing. So I'm going to have a kind of a shower room, I think. And we'll maybe have two of them. Two of them make sense to me. Granted, I don't. I think they're communal showers, so maybe we don't need two of them. Hmm. I don't know where I can put that up. Because we have everything else, I think. I think we're good across the board. Besides maybe a shower room. So maybe we should find a place to put that. I can move the student lounge and have the showers right next to the... Actually, you know what? Yeah, we could do that. Hang on. I have an idea. So we're going to move the student lounge up here. Oh, windows went up a lot too. We're going to have that there. And then we're going to expand this room. And I know that I just made this, but I want to go ahead and kind of expand it out. Say, hey, that's it. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to have showers along this wall here. Now that way they can enter in the shower room. And the shower's right there at the dorm, and they still have this kind of student lounge area that's still there. There's their student side of the uh, campus there. So we'll have a couple showers there, get that done. Um, we'll have four cubicles. I think that's fine. We'll get maybe a towel in front of each one. I think that's right. Yep, have a towel in front of each one. And they need a hand dryer. I don't know why they need a hand dryer since they have towels, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, we'll put a plant right there just for uh, livening it up a little bit. We don't need a window in there. I think that's... Probably not something that needs to be done. Um, now, what I would love to have is ooh, we could have like sink kind of in between those. No, no, we don't need to do that. We can just like have another plant or something. Granted, I think a plant is a little too big, isn't it? It's all right. We'll put a plant there. Kind of liven it up a little bit. I'm going to take this plant and move it uh, to this one right there. Look a little bit better. What else can we have in the shower room? We're going to have a soap poster. Um, that's only 15 kudos. So yeah, let's grab one of those and like, you know, let's say, hey, you know, make sure you use soap. Don't forget about the soap. So we'll put that there. Looks good. Uh, what else do we want? Uh, hand sanitizer, not the best. I, don't think, I think we're good there. Maybe a trash can. I don't know why we need a trash can in them here. So I think what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add a fifth cubicle. I think that's good. What I would love is to have a floor mat, but it doesn't look like they have that for me. So that's a prestige three room. I would love to get a little higher. Uh, we don't want a park bin. I don't think that's something they would necessarily care for. Um, Not really much I can add here. I can add a sink, I guess. Uh, I mean, bathrooms do have sinks, but... Uh, it's not really going to fit for ours. Uh, we can have a trash can, sure. I don't know why they would need that, but is it going to hit four? Oh, just a sliver. All right, uh, let's throw some hand sanitizer in there because why not? And that's four. Perfect. All right, cool. There's our student bathroom. Very good. All right, so now we need to fix all of this. Um, I'm, so I'm going to go and do that. I'm, I don't think there's a way for me to select everything. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to move this all against the wall. two stars, which is great. We unlocked the bath time statue. Don't know what we're going to do that, but okay. So now we have our last 
um, uh, what do we have objectives over there on the uh, left hand, right hand side. And we're just gonna go ahead and get this table placed and then call it a day on this room. All right, so now what do we gotta do? We have to upgrade a course to level four, 10 A grade classes, and we need average happiness rating of 78, which we have, and then we have to have 10 students graduate. So we're gonna have to move into the next year. Now we have tons of personal goals here, so let's go ahead and take a look. We need a flat flower planter. So yeah, sure, we'll unlock that and plant that, uh, place that for you. And once again, I'm gonna edit this nice little area over here that we have. I kind of like the way this is coming along. Very good looking, we'll put that in front of the whale. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move that out so students can still run across it. I kind of have that central, central, central planter there. All right, meet wizard machine wanted. I'm like, sure, yeah, we'll get you a new arcade machine. I would love to get a new arcade machine in here. So once again, we're gonna kind of move this plan out of the way, put that over there. We'll get that meat wizard game that they were wanting. Uh, let's go ahead and get into that menu. Meat wizard. It's kind of an interesting name for a game, but hey, you know what? Can't say much about it. All right, so let's see here. Put that right there. I want that as close as possible looking good. Same with this plan here. Put that right there, looking good. All right, not bad, not bad. All right, so we have that. Let's check out some other goals that we have. Gothic bookcase wanted. Okay, interesting. Um, can I put this in here? I can. Um, sure. You know what? We, I don't think I'm gonna. Well, actually, you know what? We can put it in here, can't we? Yeah, we'll do that. Where's our Where's our moon poster? You know, I want that over there. I want I want this over here. Um. Okay, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. everything's happening at once. All right, the academic year is over and the results are here. The end of the ceremony will commence shortly. Wait, wait, I gotta move this poster for this bookshelf over here. It's kind of in there, though, that's fine. All right, so we have campus requirements. So we have a whole slew of requirements that we have to do for next year, but let's go ahead and look at our rewards. So year two, what do we got? So we have 100% pass rate, which is great. Average resu uh, results were 88, which is not terrible. We have academic excellence with A's across the board. Average grade was A. Average assessment was 89%. We have some kudosh and money. We have average environmental uh, environment attractiveness, 75%, not too terrible. Average room prestige, five. With some more rewards. And that is all we got. So we actually had three rewards that, uh, that year, which was great. Uh, so we're gonna continue it for next year. So now we need to manage courses. So one thing we need to do to complete the three star is 10 grade A courses and we need 10 students graduate. Now, it said we need a course to level four, so let's see if we can do that. So I don't think we're gonna be able to do it this year. Let's do Scientography. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to get to course level four just yet. So we're at level two, I'm assuming. Wow, that's actually a pretty substantial upgrade that we need to get there. Uh, we're gonna focus on just getting our Scientography up, I think. Um, that'll make the applicants go up, and we might need to get some more uh, managed courses. Hang on, I'm done yet. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of points. Ooh, okay. We have 20. Uh, so we need to add two rooms, three professors. We can't add any more courses. All right, so let's see, anything here. All right, so we can look at this, and we have our learning rate 70. Well, we wanna ideally have 100%, um, which means our fees will go down quite substantially, but or we can make this go up and then bring the students down. So we can say our student intake is instead 15. And we can kind of raise our tuition a little bit higher. We kind of want it to where it's like that, I believe. Let's change it at the 15%. They're still happy. We've got 103 with some uh, maximum fees there. So I think that is probably what we're going to want there. So I'm going to apply the changes to that one. We're going to take a look at our virtual normality. Kind of an eh face. That's fine. Uh, we want to make sure this goes up. Let's have 10 students, I think. And we want to make sure that they're on the happy side of things. And we also want to make sure we have 100%, I think. Uh, that's kind of close. Uh, 14. Because we just want that neutral happy face right there. I think 13 with the tuition fees being at 100%. I think that's fine. All right, so we have a total of 58 students, which means it's five per bed. We have six beds, so we have not enough beds, I think. So we're gonna need probably more beds. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot more beds. Uh, so we'll probably make a dorm over here or something. Have a separate dorm. We have the virtual normality people stay over here. But we actually need two science labs, two VR labs, two science harbor teachers, and an extra normality teacher. So we need to build some buildings. So I think it's time to add on to our old dorm here. Now we gotta figure out how we're gonna, or not old dorm, but old kind of school here. 
I'm gonna figure out how we're gonna do that. So I think we have a good spot for one right here, a good core spot. Um, so we might do that. And we also have plenty of room over here. So we're gonna have, you know, I think we're gonna have virtual normality over here. So we'll have a, a second kind of normality of your lab over here. Now I might go with the same idea that I had before. Where we have maybe two build uh, rooms over here. And then we'll have that hallway and then we'll maybe have a bathroom right there. Maybe. Actually, no, we moved the, bath the bathrooms right there. Ugh, okay, so I gotta plan this out in a somewhat decent manner, and I think I might just do this. They're gigantic rooms, but this is also a big... Oh, but we need a lecture hall, don't we? No, our lecture halls are fine, actually. So we just need the two classes, really, and then the new teachers. Okay, so what I've decided, I'm gonna actually, I'm just gonna make this absolutely massive virtual normality room. So like, it's gonna be the one that the graduates go to, or not the ones, but like the um, the higher year students are gonna go to. Like, this is gonna be the one that has everything. Um, so that's kind of what I'm planning on doing up here. We're gonna have like a ton of stations and make sure that we have everything we need for these students. And there's gonna be different uh, stations that we're gonna need to get for these as well. Granted, I don't think I have them unlocked, so we're just going to make sure that we have at least some standard stuff here. And I'm going to have to move these windows around because, uh, yeah, they're kind of in the way, to be honest. Uh, so we're going to put a window there, and I'm going to put a window kind of on this dotted line there. And then we'll have some VR goggles kind of on the back wall here. I think that's a good place to have them. Um, so I'm going to just control click that, copy it. So we'll have like two there for right now. That looks good to me. And then we'll have some desks along this wall here. Um, just kind of put those right there. I think that's good. And then we'll kind of save some room for when we need to get other stuff. It's a big room. Um, I'm going to put a plant, you know, kind of like here at the entrance here. Just kind of, we don't need too many. We don't want to overwhelm our maintenance people um, because that is a thing that happens. Uh, I guess some hand sanitizers, a lot of, you know, people touching keyboards and virtual goggles and stuff like that. So that's kind of important. So now that we kind of have everything, uh, it's a prestige six. That's going to go up as we kind of get more things. The last thing I would like to see is, can I get maybe something? Yeah, so um, that's, not, that's not really virtual normality, though. So that's more like robotics. Uh, not really any virtual normality posters, is there? Huh. Uh, we do have this VR projector, so let's go ahead and grab that. I think we're going to need that. So we're going to have this, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right in front of this window. Can I have something cool right there in front of there? And then we'll have that window back there. Looks good to me. So it's, a, it's still rank 7, but I think that's probably as good as we're going to get at the moment. So we'll have that as our gigantic VR room. Looking good, though. Um, it's kind of plain over here. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, you know, it's it's we're working with what we got. I could honestly expand this one down if I really wanted to, kind of expand it out, but I think it's okay as is. Now we still need a science lab, so let's go ahead and get one of these down. Now I don't, I don't really know where I want to put the science lab. I was thinking maybe right here, which is kind of probably the best option we have. Um, so it's gonna go like right there. That's gonna be the hallway. Um, it's going to be a smaller one, and we'll probably use this one as our uh, our main one. So we'll do that. We'll just have our basic gigantic uh, science station here. And then we'll have what the students need in this one over here. So I think they mainly use it from those stations on the ground. So I want to ideally not have those against the wall. So I think right here is pretty decent. Right, to kind of look around, make sure I don't like cut off anyone there. I think the, that is probably the best place to have that. So we'll put that there. Uh, we just need to have some basic stuff in here, which is easily easily done. We'll probably have this whiteboard in the back there. Not too bad. I have a door um, kind of at the entrance right there. Not too shabby. And lastly, just get some of these basic things in. Uh, we actually don't need a lot of this stuff. Um, we just need to make sure that we have kind of the basic necessities. Uh, but we do want the room to have some prestige. Um, <laughs> not just, you know, have this basic room. And maybe have a hand sanitizer in there as well. Um, it's a prestige too. It's not the greatest um, learning room. Uh, we could probably make it a little bit better, but I don't think we can fit much of anything else in here, unfortunately, with the size that we've made it. Um, we can probably have a whiteboard back there. I would like to get it to three if I possibly can, but we would probably need to make it a little bit bigger. Uh, we can have some kind of windows here so like people can look inside. That hits at three, so that works for me. So people can look inside, see what they're doing. Um, that's kind of our science course. That way it kind of separates our student wing off here. So the students have their own space, which is nice. Now we do need another dormitory and we don't have a lot of room for it because we don't really have the space for it. Uh, they need a science station. Okay, what do you need there? Hang on, let's, let's see what we need. Uh, two player arcade table. That doesn't sound like a science t table to me, but you know what, I'll get it for you. Um, so we're gonna have, you know, like a little arcade machine here. I'll we'll probably have it I don't know, somewhere central wise, kind of like right. Uh, how about right there, the drink machine, food machine, there we go, looks good to me. 
All right, so they said I need a Scientography station, so let's take a look here and see what we can buy uh, if we edit the room. Oh, okay, yeah, we do have a lot. Thunderball, 5% um, learning power, 2% learning power. Uh, let's see if we can unlock this and fit this anywhere. Oh, we can. All right, excellent. So let's get that moved in here. I don't think this is the science station they were talking about, but hey, we're going to make it work. i put that against the wall there that has that science lab going up. Uh, we do have these, which is good. Do we have anything else? Yeah, we do have a couple more. Um, we need a science station. Let's go grab one of these and put that against the wall here. It's very crowded, this room, but hey, that's all right. Can we fit this in here? Oh, boy. All right, we're getting a little cramped. Uh, we might be able to swing it, but we have to like, kind of move things around a little bit. So let's see if we can get that done. Okay, so it's really cramped in here, but it is a packed science room. Um, hopefully those are the science stations they were talking about, but that's a tier eight classroom right there, so that's pretty good. So now we need to get Scientology teachers, so let's get them. Uh, we want, let's see here, who do we have that's good? We have a two here, let's see what perks you got. Squeaky clean and bend blindness, drops litter, ugh. I will take you because you're good all around, but not great uh, elsewhere. Uh, toilet comfort decreases slower than most, and then rapid and weak bladder. Uh, let's get this guy. I don't worry about the weak bladder. All right, so now we need a virtual normality teacher, which we can definitely grab. And we want, uh, let's see here, what do we got? We have lollygagger and bend blindness. So neither one of you are the best. Got out of the kitchen. Okay, well, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll join us. So now we need to upgrade a course to level four, 10 grade A classes, and then students graduate 10 of 10. So we have a pretty good year, I think, going ahead of us. We just have to get through some of this stuff. So um, we're going to go and start the year, I think. Uh, I think we're pretty good to go. All right, so are you sure you want to start the year with the following courses? I think so, yes, because we need to get this to four. We need to save up our course points. So start next year. All right, so we need to work on getting our campus level up, which is going to be something that I believe is going to require us to build a good number of things. So uh, if we have student requests come in, we need to make uh, sure we keep an eye on that. But we have tons of personal requests that they have required. We can see here that they're all moving through here, looking pretty good. Very, very busy campus at the moment. Um, I think we have enough beds. I hope we do. If we don't, then we're going to have to build a, a dormitory somewhere, and we may have to shrink this out. But I don't think we will have to. I think we should be okay. I thought there was going to be more stations to this course, but I don't think there is. I think we've kind of unlocked everything there is. But hey, that, the, the bigger room means more prestige, and uh, students are going to learn better. So our next go uh, goal up here. Ooh, assistant. All right, so let's go and get another assistant. Um, I think we're kind of low because because we added those two buildings, we need more. So we only have three. Uh, ooh, oh, we have some two really good ones here. So we have Iron Bladder and Weak Ladder. And I think I'm, I know who I'm going with. So there we go. Got an assistant. And we're level 10 now, which is awesome. We get more 10, uh, more course points. A lot of more courses. Uh, smoothie Kiosk, not of Kudosh. Ooh, all right. So we need more Kudosh. Uh, we only have five. I spend it on a lot of different things, uh, especially unlocking these things. All right. So what's wrong here? What What is what is going on? We still don't have an assistant. That's not great. Where are our assistants at? Uh, we probably need another staff room, so I think I'm actually going to build a staff room over here so they're not having to move. So we're going to say, hey, let's get a staff room. It's going to be a smaller staff room, but that's okay. Also, I got an achievement. Soulmates. Develop 50 soulmates. Man, students are really liking each other in this uh, in this school. All right, so we have, this is going to be a smaller one, but it should work out nicely. Um, we're going to have like, you know, just like a nice little corner cubby over here for someone to sit in. i to move that there. Kind of move all this close together nicely. Get us a nice kind of coffee table. Uh, not exactly where I want it to be. Doesn't look the best, but hey, it's something. Uh, center, centralize that window. We're just going to fit in here as much as we can. I know it's kind of packed, but uh, we could still probably get a good... Probably get a good prestige out of it. So we'll probably get them in some arcade machines. Let the teachers have some fun with that. That looks good. Uh, they probably need some snack machines and drink machines, so we'll have that near the... Couch back here. This is getting so packed. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, teachers. Um, we do have another table if we want, so we can throw that. Man, people are schmoving. All right, so we'll do that. I uh, have a dartboard there. This table is honestly kind of in the way, but I, I, I like it there. I, I, I want it there. Uh, what else can we get? We can get a nice rug that can kind of go under like this area right here. I think that'll look nice. Very good. Our procedure four, I'd like to get to five if possible. Let's get a hand sanitizer as we leave, and we have a five. So let's go ahead and do that. 
Throw that in there. Small little teacher's lounge. It's nothing special, but hey, they can get away from the students at least. So we're already halfway to campus level 11. Let's see what we have in our message here. Uh, okay, uh, we got some kudos from that. Okay, good. Uh, Scientology open day. Uh, yeah, sure, except uh, three Scientology uh, applicants. Sure, go ahead. Uh, we need that, so we don't have any of our kudos. Uh, do I have any of our personal goals? Don't think I did. All right. But everyone's learning. All right, what's wrong? What, what What's the matter with you? I, I saw that error. What happened? Okay. What is? Yeah. What is? What is? What is going on? Why? Why? Are, why are you upset? What is happening? Is it just because it's not clean? Do we not have enough? I don't think we have enough maintenance. Uh, let's get. Let's get some good maintenance crew here. Uh, we have a two and a one. Dry mouth, lollygagger, squeaky clean. Uh, I don't know about that. The happiness is always good. Move slower. Uh, do we have anyone that gets thirsty? Move slower. No, not really. Iron bladder, a lollygagger. Man, why? Oh, you've got lollygagger. I'm going to unpause for a second and see who this is. Oh, got a four. Gross. Poor personal hygiene, but to toilet comfort. Yeah, you know what? Sure. I'll be fine. We'll grab you. Boom. All right. Not bad. So we have a student assessment score. Uh, hopefully that'll go well. We have our gigantic classes over here. Not looking too terrible so far. I still don't know what this is. I don't know what this error here is. I think it's because there's so much trash here and no one's fixed it. I can't tell. Everyone's happy. I don't I don't know what's wrong here. Let me see if I can find me a UI that lets me kind of see what people are thinking. All right, well, good news is we are level 11 now. We got 10 kudosh, um, so that's nice. Actually, no, that's course points. I lied. Uh, so we need a couple more levels in our campus if we want to get to level 4, so we ideally want to get more built. Now, that may require me building out to this, and we may have, like, a giant dorm over here or something. We might be able to put another room in here. I'm not sure. Uh, that's an eight. All right, we have some profit. A weed infestation is coming in. Not terrible. Uh, smooth the kiosk. Once again, we can't get that. Um, okay. Ah, I wish I could do that. Uh, but we need 10 students to graduate. We need 10 grade A classes, which I think is going to be possible. Uh, you can see here with our calendar year, we still have plenty of time, and we already have three A's. So I think we're good there. Uh, we just need to get our course leveled up to four and then have 10 students graduate, which we do have. I think this is our yeah, year three. So we will have students graduate this year, which is really, really good. And I think we are going to need another dorm. Um, I don't think we have enough dorm space. And I think I may have made these virtual normality classes way too big. In fact, I don't even think we're using them because when I first did the student, uh, when I did the courses, another assistant. OK, wow. We really need assistance, don't we? Can you not just get, are you just not able to get there? Is that the problem? I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on here. No, there's an assistant there. Okay. Interesting. Um, what was I saying? Ah, yes. When we made the virtual normality class, we didn't accept a ton of students. So there is that. And I forgot that when you accept new students, you're technically not getting rid of your old students. So, you know, we probably should build another dorm. I know this is pretty far from where the students have to go. And you kind of want your classes centralized. I think you want your kind of students coming from over here. But like this one over here, like we can expand out here. But man, look how far they have to go to get the class. That's that's incredible. I don't think we have any like transportation for them either. I can see here that this is quite a line um, that they're having to deal with here. We can probably go and get another coffee stand if we really wanted to. Uh, if we can uh, say, hey, you know, have one over here. Why not? You know, have a separate like little area, outdoor area for our students. They come from this direction. I don't see why not. We'll get a hot dog stand as well, which means we're going to need more assistance. But hey, that's more campus prestige. So let's go and get some more uh, assistance. Uh, let's get uh, this one's really happy. Bottomless pit, squeaky clean, rapid. Yeah, let's, sure. That sounds great to me. I thought you in there. Um, oh, we have a good virtual normality teacher there, but we're not looking for that at the moment. Um, Iron bladder. Sure, we'll get you as well. We'll get two more of those. And I think I'm going to get one more janitor as well. Uh, <laughs> dabbing on them. Okay. Dry mouth gets thirsty easily. Lollygagger. I uh, just not feeling it. Bond split. Iron bladder. Uh, that's not terrible. Not terrible there. All right. We'll grab this one. All right. So we're almost at 12. Oh, is it just a sliver? Oh, no. There it is. So campus level 12, which is great. Our average happiness is going down, though. So we need to make sure people are happy. Um, do we have anything here? We have our statement. Bookcase required. We don't have enough kudosh. Oh, okay. So we got 15 kudosh from that, which is good. Um, unlock in place with 20 kudosh. Oh, I mean, I could. 
We have we needed a virtual normality bookcase though. Yeah, I'm out of kudosh. That's not great. But hey, career goal completed, so let's claim those rewards. That's a 50 kudosh right there. Let's see what else we got here. Uh develop 100 fr friendships, so that's about to happen. Uh this one's also about to happen, which is more kudosh for us. Uh okay, then that will unlock based on these as well. Uh, we need 100 students move in so we can have more dorms. Um, we can complete 100 library assignments. So there is plenty of things that we're about to complete for more Kudosh, so I think we'll be okay. So I'm going to let the game run for a little bit and uh, see what we come across. Okay, and just like I said, we have a new career goal completed, so we can go here and collect that. So uh, we'll claim those rewards. And I think that will actually claim another one. Nope, we need just a little bit more. And so now we are at 120, which is great. Pra crazy Taxi Machine wanted. Oh, Crazy Taxi. This is a Sega game, so Crazy Taxi is part of that. Um, but I do want to get the uh, Virtual Nomadi bookcase first, so we're going to grab that. And we're going to put that in our... Oh, wait. Ah, interesting. So this actually goes in the library. Oh, we're going to have to have different bookcases, I see. Okay, so we're going to put that across the uh, board there. And I think we're going to have that one right there, so that's good. That's a Virtual Nomadi bookcases. That'll help out the students there. And then we'll have probably hopefully some more goals complete. And you can see here that, that they're still busy. Man, I mean, I get coffee's important, but wow, look at those lines. We have a lot of students, don't we? Yeah, I probably should consider building another dorm somewhere. Maybe over here. I'm going to try to do it without it, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay, one thing I noticed is that a student over here is actually waiting to use this. So I'm actually going to copy this and then put another one down. Because you don't want students waiting and they just will go ahead and get to that desk. So I think that's good. Uh, we have no assistant in the library apparently, but that's okay. I also completed a challenge for some more kudosh. Uh, two player table wanted. Oh wow, you guys want so much from me. Okay. Uh, career goal completed though, so we can claim those rewards. Very good. And that'll also complete this for us. Excellent. So, now that we've done that, we have a couple of different things we can fulfill here. What do I want to fulfill first? Anything that is part of a class, which there is nothing part of a class, which is fine. Let's do the smoothie. I like the idea of getting a smoothie stand. I think that sounds really nice for our little courtyard area here. So I think I'm gonna have it next to the coffee stand over here. We'll just get that as close as possible without messing up anything here. That looks good right there. Uh, that's a little off. Hang on, wait, wait, we gotta fix that. That's I'm not happy with that. There we go, put that there. Excellent. Uh, and I think because we get that, we should just go ahead and get another assistant. Uh, we have a very good looking one, but they have a weak bladder in the bottom of the split, but they have really good stats overall, so I'm going to grab you. Okay, so we're about halfway through the class, uh, the school year now. We have a uh, t we have six of our ten grade A classes, and we will see the ten graduating. And I don't know what this means. I don't like it keeps popping up, and I don't know if it's because they can't reach it or if something else is wrong here. Roommate capacity. Oh, it's not big enough. Interesting. We have so many students that the library is not big enough. Wow. Oh, huh. okay. Well, I don't know how to fix that right now because we would need to expand even further, but I think we're okay at the moment. I think we just accepted too many students. Uh, we do have another objective we complete here, so I'm going to go and do that. We'll just unlock that and place that. I know I don't need to, but uh, we're, we're a high society university here in a uh, good old Freshly Meadows, so we're going to put that there as our entrance and just say, hey, yep, we, we know what we're doing. But yeah, uh, this is at capacity now, which is unfortunate because I don't exactly know where we can expand that to. We may have to get a bigger library somewhere else, but I think for what we've got, it'll be okay. Everyone's happy. We have that above that 65%, and so now we just need to wait. Also, I didn't get to really show you guys the virtual normality stuff. Um, I d didn't realize that I kind of didn't show that. So, if you know, we take a look at our course calendar here. Um, we do have virtual normality coming up, so I think I might let the game... I did. I, I, let me know how you guys felt about that, where I kind of let the, the video run for a little bit and so you can see the animations of it. Um, so I might do that again, let you guys see the animations of um, this for a little bit and then kind of cut away. Okay, so we have a new thing right here saying one student needs a cell poster for an assignment. Let's go ahead and see what we need to do there. So we go in here and we look at our cell poster. We can afford that. It's only 10 kudosh, so that's easy enough for us to do. So we can throw that into our science lab here. Um, we got plenty of wall space for it, so we'll throw like two down uh, just to make that a little bit better. Very good. 
now then, um, let's see what else we have. We have a ramen kiosk. Ooh, dude, let me some ramen. Uh, let's go and claim those kudosh rewards there because we're going to need it for some of our objectives. And let's see, we don't have enough kudosh for any of this, so that's fine. We have a net profit of 9,700 this month, which is good. And we have a massive A on our academic results, which is great to see. We have 10 A grade classes done. We have our average happiness done. And now we just need to get our students to graduate this year and upgrade our course level four, which means I really need to kind of consider getting our campus leveled up a little bit more here, which means maybe build new rooms. Um, but really, I mean, we've kind of built what we can with the land that we have. If we really want to get those points, we're going to have to say, how many points do we have right now? Uh, where's our course points at? Okay, so we have a total of 50 course points. And I think I might be able to go and upgrade this, which is awesome. So yeah, we go and upgrade that. Um, now we just need four. So we need, oh, we did. Okay, so going back to that menu, we really just need five course points. Um, and then we can get to Scientography and be done with this level. So I need to figure out how to do that really quickly. So I'm going to try to get our core, our, our campus level up just a little bit more. So let's try and see if we can get that done. So what I decided to do is I decided to buy this little plot here and we're going to let that kind of build out. I'm going to fast forward, let that get done. And then uh, hopefully we'll have some room there. So you can see here, it's taking some time to build out. It has a nice little animation with it, speed through it. And then we'll see what kind of buildings it builds for us. Cause you can build with or without buildings. And we have that new building there, which is kind of nice. Um, so that's kind of what we're dealing with. The students can go across the road there and we can build with this now. So I think what I want to do is I want to make another dorm because we have a lot of students and I think this will kind of be a, like a nice dorm um, area right here. And then actually, I think I may have the dorm area back here. This is kind of like a nice garden for them to be in. So I have like a little outdoor area so we can have like, you know, say a dormitory like right here. Uh, for example, we have like a six by six there. I think I might want that a little bit wider. So may have like a six by seven. Uh, granted, that's pretty okay. Uh, yeah, let's actually expand that one, one more out. Uh, nope, not what I wanted. Uh, where to go? Uh, I know I have this here somewhere. Okay, well I don't know where my expanding went, so we're just gonna go with these beds in here. Kind of do the same deal that I did on the other side. Just kind of have some beds um, against the wall there, and we'll kind of fill in using the grid. Uh, that's the easiest thing to, for us to do at the moment. We're not gonna have like a massive dorm. Actually, you no, know, we should go ahead and do a three dorm room. A three bed room here so i think i'm gonna do something like that so we have on the other side it's not gonna be as big but it'll still have uh plenty of students to uh fit in here and we'll just kind of do something similar that we did over here with the desks kind of at the end i know it's kind of like the same thing copy and paste but it works i mean it has it i mean that's kind of what dorms are um, unless the students absolutely go crazy with them um but yeah they're kind of symmetrical they kind of have the same thing going on for them so that's what we're gonna do okay so we have a dorm here very simplistic. Um, I honestly need to move some of these windows out of the way. I probably like have not shouldn't have that against his bed there. But hey, hey, it's a nice view of the, the uh, little um, the water lock here. That's actually a. Well, I can't remember what these are called. Uh, it, it's it's a water lock because it's you know this is kind of like a simple canal type deal. Um, but yeah, anyway, he has a nice view of that. Um, so yeah, there's our basic uh dorm. If we on pause here, we actually have course level thirteen or we have campus level thirteen which is really good. We also completed this for more kudosh, which is even better. And uh, if we look at our courses now and we go here, we actually have enough to level this up. So let's do that. Scientography is level four now. And once we complete this year, we will be done with this level. So I'm going to fast forward, let our students pass. And uh, yeah, we should be ready to move on to the next level in the next episode. OK, I don't know what's going on over here, but I went to go check on the dorm. And there was a line to use all of these. So I'm assuming they're just changing into something. I, I don't know what that was. They were all accessing those and it was a line for it, which was kind of incredible. But I guess those are important to them. But anyway, yeah, we had everyone kind of using this dorm over here. They're, they kind of moved in and yeah, they've got a nice little area over here and they've kind of enjoyed this. Granted, we're not going to expand it mostly that much because we're about to be done with this level. But uh, you can see here that we have a couple more uh, days left or not really days, but months left in this year. Uh, we do have some of these that we can still do, but honestly, we probably don't need to. I'm going to accept that mission just for some extra kudosh. Now, the extra, the ramen kiosk may be good, but I think I might save some kudosh for our next level um, uh, of, of the game, uh, which was, I think, the Piazza Lenatra? Lenatra? One of those new levels. We'll see it when we get done with this one. Uh, but I might save some kudosh for some things that we need to unlock there because we are, have already met uh, a good chunk of the requirements here. So... We're going to get to the end of graduation and then see what else we have left to do. 
we just hit another campus level, which we didn't really even need. But yeah, we did uh, added some new staff to the uh, the campus because our maintenance crew was uh, really busy. So you see, here we have a couple more maintenance guys running around, but we still have a couple more months left of this year. Not too much needs to change. Everyone is pretty good. We have an 80% average happiness, which is great. We do have some personal goals we could cover, um, but I'm not going to worry about it at the moment. Like I said, I'm going to save my kudosh, um, but we do have like kind of our daily reports and stuff like that. Our statements coming through. And just a tons of personal goals, but like I said, we're gonna not wait about uh, worry about that until the next level. Yeah, I know you need it for an assignment, but yeah, you're fine right now. You should be passed. Yep, we got our A's out of the way, so it should be fine. So that's gonna be uh we're gonna keep going and we have two months left. All right, everybody, and that is a wrap. We have three stars for Freshly Meadows. We have three thousand uh money and two hundred kudosh, which is great, and a light bulb statue, which is awesome. So we hit continue. And this is Freshly Meadows. The acting technique is over and the result stays here. The end of ceremony will commence shortly. So let's go ahead and see what rewards we got because we get some kudos from it. We had 100% pass rate with 89% average results, which was I think 1% higher than what we had. We had average uh, grade is A with an 89% assessment score with some more kudos and money. And we also had total student relationships, 55, King of Hearts. We also had Campus of the Year uh, in terms of average environment attractiveness, which was awesome. So we had four awards with 89% continuing, um, 48 students continue on, and 10 graduating, which completed the level for us. So guys, that is Freshly Meadows, the first level of Two Point Campus. To kind of go ahead and give a little of a, I guess we'll do an end of campus tour here. You guys have seen it, but you know, we kind of start off with this lonely uh, lecture theater here. And then we, you know, we moved it around, kind of built our bathrooms nearby. We built our scientography class. Then we went on to our lovely library here. We built our new student wing over here. We see showers, people taking showers right now. We have our student lounge, which is nice. We have our very lovely dorm room over here with our kind of like a student hangout corner. We have our, you know, staff that are kind of on the way to the student um, area, but that's, you know, we probably could have that somewhere else. Uh, it's fine. And then we built our second wing over here mainly focusing on virtual normality. We have two virtual normality classes. We could have added a little bit more to it, but we didn't need to. And then we have our second theater, and then we have our little staff room and bathrooms over here. We have our nice little little garden area where students can come hang out. Very nice looking area. I have that lovely whale statue, which I have no idea what it goes with, but hey, it works. And then we have our sad little dorm over here just by itself. I know, buddy, it's, it's awful. You have to walk all the way to class, but... Oh, it'll be fine. But guys, that is it for this level. Great work. Freshly Meadows now boasts a first-rate academic facility. Head to the map and pause menu to decide where to set up next campuses. So we have the pause menu, and we want to head to our map. So I'm going to quick save this real quick and then head to the map. Okay, so here we are. We're moving on to Piazza La Natra, now available. So this is going to be the next campus we go to. If you guys want to see more of this game, please let me know down below. If you want to see the next couple of levels, I will gladly play them for you. I do enjoy these games. They are quite fun, quite charming, quite unique. Uh, they remind me of Theme Hospital and all those classic games back in the day. Sega has done an amazing job with them. And like I mentioned last time, they are releasing Two Point Museum, which does look like a ton of fun. So if you want to see it too, let me know down below. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys have a good one. I do apologize about my voice kind of being out of order. And uh, hopefully I'll be feeling better soon. But that's going to be it. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day where it may be. As always, thank you for spending some of your time here. And I'll see you for the next one. Bye, everybody.